This is not gonna be easy, but we have to make an attempt at it because we want, we want those five stars. This boy should be mine. Champion training tournament event has started and we really wanna get this perfect soul. But I am very concerned that I will not be able to get there. I did a bunch of upgrading this morning. We only got ourselves a thousand points to start this bad boy out. I need 15,000 and we already got some people ahead of us that are determined to do the same. Did they watch my video and are they trying to knock me out? Is that what's going on? It's going to be difficult to do, but what we have to do is continue the training process. I've been doing that through doing uh, regular stuff for our campaign, just kind of going through the campaign, using double XP and getting experience there. And we've also been doing it through actually the tavern and, you know, upgrading ranks on champions, which is cool. But man, uh, it's going to be a minute. What the hell am I going to do? What you could do is download Raid Shadow Legends, use my QR code on my link in the description, it directly supports my channel, and it gets you a free epic champion. That would be cool of you. Appreciate it. By the way, this morning in Faction Wars, we, for the first time ever, completed. And you know what? It took me 22 minutes to do this bitch, but we got it done and I almost, I could have had three stars, but my reviver just didn't do the revive in time before we took it down. So uh, I actually got ourselves the sacred shard from that. No, was it a sacred shard? No, it was an epic, it was a legendary skill tome, which was also quite nice. So we've been doing some progress over here. Really happy about that. And I was, I was feeling very accomplished to have completed that. Also, clan boss has been doing well too. Looks like we could do a fight right now. I was actually thinking, we, we one keyed Nightmare. So let's take a look at Nightmare. We one keyed with this setup. I'm wondering, should I remove Bad L and put in Sill? I think it's worth testing on Ultra Nightmare. We've done two runs of Ultra Nightmare. Now I could go in, let's go with the battle. I could switch this up. Let's look at team setup really quickly. Where is it here? We got potion keep, ice golem, end boss, fire knight. Ooh, fire knight. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this right now. Now, for context, I got approximately 20,000, 20,000 damage, or 20 million, sorry, 20 million, million damage. The last time we did this which was this morning. I did it twice this morning. I think I got 19 mil damage and then 20 mil damage. So let's see what I could do right now. We're gonna, we're gonna stand the test of time and see what we could do. Now I do have Ninja as well. We still need to build out Ninja. Now, and also Syl, she has her gear. She has no skill stones. And I don't think she has masteries yet either. So she is definitely not as built as Bad L. But she does have that continuous heal. She does that when they attack, they heal. And she does offer a revive that Bad L does not offer. So if she can stand, it's typically Tyrant for some reason. Tyrant is the one that goes down first. If she could stand through that and revive him, we could extend our play. Let's see how this goes because this is the big boss. This is the, you know, the nightmare one, the hardest one. We've been doing so good in clan boss, getting some good rewards too. And look at this, Wixwell just supplying the shield, which I absolutely love. You got Geomancer with the burn, Tyrant with the ally protection, Rathalos with the nuke damage. And it's just, it really is a gorgeous, gorgeous setup. So we're at seven mil damage to start. Not bad, we haven't taken damage, but now we did. We just took a little bit right there. The good thing is we do get that healing. I love it, I freaking love that healing. Good, shielded. Everyone was shielded, no one took damage there. Again, extending the light, getting the zap from above. Eight million damages in the bag. Now, when they hit, they should do a lot of damage because they have that burn going, right? I also like Brimstone that we have on Tyrant, which is dropping the rocks from above. above. There's another burn. There's a nice poke. Nine mil damage. Boom. Did, did, okay. They're not. So the burn is supposed to reflect damage on the boss. But I'm, I'm not seeing that reflection. Everyone's still looking good. Syl is actually taking a bit more damage than I like because she's my reviver. I don't want her to go down first. If she does, well, then damn, she can't revive anybody. 
10 million damage on the boss. Turn 17. Uh-oh, Rathalos is looking weak. He's shielded, though. He's going to start getting... He's going to start getting healed up now, too. Increased defense. Zappity Zing Zang. 11.5 mil. Things are getting spicy in here. We're at 14 million damage. And I don't like how Scylla's looking. Well, that was a nice nuke right there. She needs a shield. She's going to get it. She's not going to get it. We're dead. No! Called it. Damn. 15 mil damage. She's not doing better than Bad L just yet. Because now we don't have any healing. We don't have any reviving. It's just going to be Wixwell shielding. Obviously, Tyrant can can heal himself. But darn, man. Darn. That's going to be 17 mil. Let's see how far we can go. If we can get to 19 mil, which I don't think we could do. But if we can, then maybe we have potential for her in the future. But look at this. We're at 8. Oh, actually 18 mil. Geo, Geo has the burn going still. Can we get another? another? Come on, dude. That's it. Good night. All right. 18.2 mil damage. It did do less than we did. We can't edit the team either. We did get less using Sil. Blah. Girl, look at Geo with that damage. All right, well, that was fun. Yeah. Guys, I think I'm giving up. I think I'm actually going to give up on champion training because I don't think there's a, there's a chance in the heavens above that I can get this done. Not only do I need to compete with these guys, I don't think I can get to 15,000. Today is the day, guys, where... I tap out and I say, I can't win. I just can't do it. Let's get in the arena and do a little bit of diddly wangs. We were doing good in the arena yesterday, by the way. Uh, today though, maybe a different story. Why, why does everything look so difficult? This scares me. This doesn't. Defense. I mean, this is a team that'll probably beat me, but let's try. <laughs> 226 he was like a level 90 something but let's see if we can beat him let's just put the challenge out there today we, we oh they have a floating one too is that floating one oh look that was great we just sheep the proper one which is actually gonna take half their health away come on get them down burn yeah I think we could do this oh yeah we could do this Let's go. Let's get this, boy. He's ready to attack. We, that tiny bit of turn meter we stole. Boom. Another one bites the dust. Don't even like that song. Uh, Yeah, that's, that's all we could do here. But that's enough to take us over to the Great Hall, where we rarely visit. And to throw more accuracy on top, we have it by one. 701, we're using all of our medals. What? Eat those cheese doodles. I guess, rank, is rank 10 the max? This is awesome. Area bonuses. Oh boy. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, we'll, we'll focus on the affinity bonuses though. Well, uh, okay, we gave up on one thing, but we just got ourselves focused on another. And that's how we that's how we raid, bro. That's how we raid. Remember to download raid using my QR code and give me a little bit of luck. And if you think I shouldn't give up on this, if you think I should push it, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow.